Welcome to this week's episode of Allie in LA. Oh my gosh, look who it is. It's Lily Nabet. It's me. Lily, remember when my film crew came down to your apartment and interviewed you for Allie in LA? You mean uh, Lucas on my poof and your iPhone? Anyways, not the time to reveal show secrets. This is Lily's episode. Oh, actually, one more question. Come back, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lily, be honest. Is Allie in LA your favorite content out there right now? It's Allie, 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 Allie in LA. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Lily Nabet, who just happens to live downstairs. I hope she's home. MTV Cribs? No, it's Allie in LA. Come on in. I am here with my teammate, friend, and neighbor, Lily Nabet. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Al. Lily is a local legend, LA born and raised, Encino to be exact. How did it feel to be drafted to your home team? You know, it felt pretty surreal. Going to Duke for five years on the East Coast, <laughs> a lot different than LA. It feels surreal just to be back home. It's been great being here. You're known, of course, for your charm, your soccer talent, but also your eyebrows. I feel like we need to give a shout out to Kanika, Kanika's eyebrows. Just getting some footage of our live in-studio audience. Since you are a local, share with us some of your favorite kind of go-to spots. I'm a valley girl, so I stay in the valley. And a big boba girl, boba cafe down the street. What's okay. your go-to order? Probably the Galaxy, the passion fruit. Highly recommend. Rafi's in Glendale is like Persian spot for my people. You mentioned being Persian. Mm -hmm. How has that been for you kind of navigating, talking about being Persian? You were teaching me about Persian New Year. Growing up, it was so kind of like natural for me to feel Persian, especially in LA, because there's so many Persian people. But now like going to games and seeing Persian fans and having them support me has been Really special for me. Check this out. Lily Nabet, Persian pioneer. Tell us about the magazine. Honestly, I didn't know there was a Persian magazine. Well, yeah. Fierce. I didn't know that I was the first Persian drafted in any professional league. That was cool. I didn't tell my mom about it, actually. I just told her to go to the local like Persian spot, oh. and she saw it in person for the first time. It would be totally inappropriate if I did not mention your love of fashion, your style. What is the difference between style and fashion? Oh, good question. I think fashion has a lot to do with trends and I would say having money. And I think style is having your own identity. For example, go to a thrift store and pick out pieces and how you style it. You wouldn't know that your outfit could be 40 bucks. These I haven't worn yet. I could wear these with a little tank, mm -hmm. a little regular tee, maybe a June Endo jersey. Wow. Yeah. Now we're talking. I'm not afraid to wear some color. This is a Jerry Lorenzo piece, Fear of God. Simple, sleek, not many people would know. Like, what would you think this is? An A. An A. For Allie. Well, that's okay. Next piece then. <laughs> <laughs> not many people would understand how sexy this shoe is. Thank you for not judging me. Do you wear them? I do wear them. This is evidence. Yeah, there's some gum on there. Last question. Describe your style of play. Oh, wow, switched it up. Style, you know, mm. was a, there was a segue. Cliche answer, but I love to keep the ball. Not much of like a runner. But she is fast. Period. Good vibes. Great vibes, especially when you're hanging out with Lily Nabet. Thank you for being on Alley in LA. Of course. And uh, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Okay. Thanks, cameraman. If you missed out <laughs> on getting your Javanan, let us know. And one of these could be yours. I was wondering if you could sign. Oh, yeah, sure. Is anywhere is fine? Yeah. Not on your face. <laughs>